What's up guys? It's your girl Nicole Young and I am back with another video. Today's video is super casual, um, sticking with the quarantine, work from home vibes. I've been super chill and just really taking every day one day at a time. So I asked um, for questions for a Q&A video on my Instagram and I'm going to go over some of the ones that I got. So we're gonna do some, a couple of coding questions and a couple of um, freelancing questions and then I guess if I have time I'll answer some of the random ones I got too. All right, let's get started. So the first question that I got was, um, I'm enrolled in a coding boot camp right now, transitioned from finance, any tips? My biggest tips that I have for you right now, um, especially for people that are new, if you are transitioning, having a career shift or transitioning out of something different, is to network. Use all of the resources that you have to build a network in technology, to build a network um, with companies that you know could use your skills, your new skills as a web developer or whatever it is that you're learning. Um, because it is 100% networking that has gotten me the majority of the jobs and um, opportunities that I've had so far. So I would say use LinkedIn. LinkedIn is an awesome place to start gaining resources um, and, and connections. And I would say also um, just any of your social media accounts, just find creative ways to get yourself out there. I know it's weird because you can't go to events and things like that right now, um, but there's a ton of digital events popping up everywhere. So take advantage of those, build up your network any way that you can, um, especially you know digitally, because that is definitely going to help you when you're trying to get jobs later on. Okay, the next one. How do you start coding from scratch? Girl. Okay, this one's kind of, I guess it's a difficult one to answer because it depends on, on what you're interested in. It depends on you know what your goal is with coding from scratch. But I would say um, that if you are someone that's trying to like make uh, a job out of it or take on opportunities out of it, make a career shift, I would say start with a book. Figure out what your why is, figure out what direction you want to take it in. But once you figure out what language you want to learn, then I would say start with some type of book that's geared towards it. I think like Head First has a lot of coding language books, um, but you can also just find like what the highest reviewed ones are on Amazon and start there. Um, check out my other videos about um, finding your language and finding your direction. But I think books are a great way to start because they're going to have the right vocabulary that you need to learn. They're going to have the basic concepts that you need to learn. And a lot of really good books have um, lessons or projects that you can do as you learn different things and that would be super helpful for you and then I would say start looking at online courses there's a ton of free ones and I will be dropping some resources on how to find some really good free coding classes and resources online right now I'll be dropping that really soon so check out that when I do just keep an eye out for it next what attracted you to iOS and how are you doing with everything going on? What attracted me to iOS was that I use Apple products in just about everything. Like I don't think I use any products outside of Apple. Um, my phone, my laptop. I know that to build like the really sexy Apple uh, streamlined type of apps that they are known to have, um, it's a lot easier to build those apps natively through Swift than through the more general languages like JavaScript through like React Native or, or anything like that, Java. 
for me, um, that was why originally I just thought it was really cool. I, I really liked the, the apps that I have on my phone um, and wanted to be able to build those and I knew that Swift was the way to do it. And how am I doing with everything going on? I am doing fine, all things considered. I would say um, it's been like a roller coaster of emotions for me, like <clears throat> a lot of ups and downs. Um, but just trying to take it day by day, so thank you for asking. Chex Mix or cereal? <laughs> um, I would say cereal. I've been eating a lot of cereal lately. Um, I eat a bowl, at least one bowl, every single day. The quarantine snacks are real up in this house. Uh, how did I stay motivated while learning to code? Um, I would say I'm still very actively learning especially during this time when I have like I'm stuck in the house and I have a lot of time to myself I've been kind of testing out some different things so I've been getting interested in front end and learning a lot there I think what how I stay motivated is number one setting goals for myself so long-term goals are really good hey Rob how you doing really good I bet like I, I would also say like since learning um, Atomic Habits by James Clear, reading that book and learning a lot of the lessons that were in that, I would say that uh, building a habit around coding is something that can help you stay motivated. Um, so just so just having a routine around your your coding habit will help you to stick to it and it's not so much of like feeling like oh I, every day I always want to sit down and code for however many hours it's not really that it's just staying committed and, and doing it regardless of how you feel um, so building a habit around it is great and so if you haven't already read Atomic Habits I would definitely say check it out it's a great book and it was one that is definitely high up there of ones that have changed my perspective on life and are like must reads. Okay, so here's another one and that is tech interview tips. And I will probably do an actual video or maybe a couple of videos on this because I actually, the position I held in my last tech job was a hiring manager. So I have a little bit of experience on the other side as well as so I have a little bit of experience on both sides, basically is what I'm trying to say. So my biggest tip for tech interviews, and this is not necessarily coding interviews because I've actually not ever had a coding interview just yet, but in general, getting a job in tech, if you ever have to go in for an interview is show, don't tell. This is good for your resume, good for interviews. Try to demonstrate the skills that you have over saying that you have certain skills. So instead of saying that you have experience in Python, actually show that you have experience in Python by, you know, having projects in your portfolio or something like that. Okay, action. Hey guys, so I was just editing this video and I realized that it was so long with the coding questions and the freelancing questions. So this video is just a couple of the coding questions that I got and I will do another video on freelancing Q&A. So if you decide that you have questions about freelancing, you can definitely drop them down in the comments below and I will definitely include them in my next Q&A video about freelancing. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this and thank you to everyone who contributed questions. I will see you in the next one. Make sure you guys are staying safe and washing those hands. See ya.